Good morning, Jim Hodges here, uh, Dottie here. Dottie is a German short-haired pointer that came in for our training. She's actually uh, Annabelle's sister, if you see Annabelle's video. Dottie is a, a wonderful girl, but as I told her owner, she is a nervous Nelly. She is, she seems to be very timid and insecure, and, and it's just like people, you know? People have different temperaments and personalities from when they were born and how they were shaped uh, environmentally throughout their life. Well, same with her. She happens to be born to be very timid and insecure, and I truly believe that she was born primarily this way. The thing about it is she's a loving girl. We love her. We want her to be happy. And obedience has just as much of a role now as it did with Annabelle or the hard-to-control dog. Why? Because it's going to give her a chance to see that there's someone in the pack that has the ability to lead and for her to defer to. That that leader has her back. That leader is not going to let anything happen to her. I believe this with all my heart. You hear behaviorists out there say this and that. Well, behaviorists are behaviorists. I'm a dog trainer with a strong uh, leaning towards behavior, and I do this every day. We're talking thousands of dogs. I believe what I say. I believe what I do. Not because I made it up. Dogs have shown me this. I've read all the books out there that I can read. I've, I've visited the different schools, okay? This is what works for me. And I believe it will work for anybody that is willing to step up and be the leader. Just understand, leader doesn't mean you're intimidating or dominating or making your dog fear you. You're showing your, your dog that you have what it takes to lead for them to follow, for both of you to love and be happy every, ever after. Again, she's really timid and insecure. We're going to want to give her every benefit that we can. We are going to empathize and sympathize with a dog like this. It's real important that we don't. We can feel sorry, but we don't want to show it to her. When she does something wrong, we have to bite it. Again, we're not going to have to bite tremendously heavy. We're not here to intimidate, but we have to physically bite just as another dog would to its sibling or member of the pack to let her know. Obedience, again, is a sound way to teach that I'm strong enough to be the leader, you're strong enough to be the leader, but we have that love and caring that a benevolent leader, a benevolent dictator would be, okay? A couple of things real quick is when she does what we want and we praise her, if she breaks the command, we got to bite it unless we've released her. One of the things she liked to do in the beginning she still does it periodically, but not near as much. Keep in mind, we've only been working at this a little under two weeks, is that when we tell her to, to down and we go to pet her, she wants to roll over. Well, guess what? That's not the down command. So if she starts to roll over, we're going to tap the leash the other way. I'm going to try to remember to do that here in a minute. I don't think she's going to roll over, but I'm going to show you the direction of how we try to do things. Okay? Also remember, she's not in a sit command right now. Good girl. We want to look for, she's in a release calm command, but she's right here. We want to praise her. We want to praise her in all the moments we can, okay? Even in the uh, calm moments, she's laying down sleeping or what have you, let her know she's doing what we ask, okay? If she does something wrong, remember it. She's going to do that over and over until we fix it, huh? Even though she's not in a command, I didn't want her to, uh, smell the ground just then. So that was me being arbitrary. Apologize, but that's me. That's you as the leader. But if I'm going to be arbitrary today, I need to be arbitrary tomorrow for the same thing. And that's just one of my uh, pet peeves as a dog smelling the ground when we're actively doing something. It's different when we take them out for a walk to use the bathroom or what have you. So we want to be upbeat with her. We want to encourage her. We want her to do the things, listen to my tone of voice, but at the same moment, we don't feel sorry if she does something, we have to bite, okay? And we only bite to the level we need to. You ready, sweetheart? Good girl. Let's go. Let's go with a short leash. I said that with the Annabelle video. We want it short. She walks real good on the leash. But Annabelle was the hard charger. She's going to be your hard charger now, okay? It's important that we keep her here. We don't allow her to smell the ground. If she started to smell the ground, we would tell her no. Let's go. And let's go. You don't have to sit. 
and if she starts to pull out in front of us, we would tap back to us, okay? And we would tell her, no, let's go again. On the same thing, let's go. If she's walking with us and doing good, ah, a girl, good girl. We want her to know that we're happy with her. So let's go with just that. Loose leaf, short loose leaf to begin with, uh, so we can control. As you get better, it can be a longer leash. I have no problems with that, as long as she stays where she needs to. Right here, all right, let's go. So you see her nose got down about that far, I bet. Sit, good girl. Sit is sit. I told her to sit, I expected her to sit. The hand signals like this. If she didn't sit, I would have gone, no, sit right up above her head, and then come back and still praised her, but just not as much as if she did it the first time. Break. Break is my release command, okay? That means you're free, that command is over. You still can't pull me on leash, you still can't smell the ground, but you, you are free. Sit, and a girl, good girl. So she's holding to sit. If you can watch her a little closely, you may see her get a little nervous here. We, again, ignore that. That's part of who she is. Next thing is the C-O-M-E command. Come. We come, she comes and sits. Ah, a girl. Now she has to hold that. If she started to get up, it would be a bot. So you have two choices there. You have her come to you, like, no, sit. She wants to listen. I don't know if you can tell. Come. She sits. Great. Ah, a girl. Then you can pat her. Or she holds that come command and you phrase her. She holds that sit at the end of the come. Okay? So sit. Sorry to be a pain. Come. Good girl. She's holding the sit. If she got up, it'd be no sit. Good. Right. Now, you notice I didn't give her a treat. Some days she likes treats, some days she doesn't. Again, when I see dogs that tend to be a little nervous, when they're doing something that makes them, that's not in their comfort zone, they may or may not want a treat. So I found with a dog like this, if they're not 100% treat motivated, I just use my love and my expression. So let's go, girl. Sit. Next thing we're going to do is the D-O-W-N command. From in front, it's like this. Down. Good. No down. Good girl. So she's down. She has to hold that down. If she doesn't do it, did you see how I tap the leash? It's a little tap towards the ground, okay? She has to hold that down until I release her, okay? I do not expect or will allow her to smell the ground while she's doing that. Now I'm going to reach over and pet. No, no, down. So you notice she went to, to roll over, okay? I tapped the leash in the opposite direction of where she went to roll over. Good girl. And then I come back and pet her so she can hold it. Good, sit. Good, break. Get a close view of this because you'll see she's a little nervous. Sit, down, down from the side, down from in front. Good girl. I'm going to pet her. Add her, girl. No rollover that time. Good. Not going to pet her forever. Uh, when she's a little nervous, we want to let her know we're happy. But if we start stroking, we're just going to make her even more nervous. We're rubbing that energy, that nervous energy into her. Okay? No. Down. Good girl. Now, if I wanted to, I could tell her, stay. Now she could roll over if she wanted to and I wanted her to to rub her belly. Because stay is a down command without being technical. We basically want her down, uh, being, no, down. And now this popping up is only because she's a little nervous. She wants to make sure she's doing the right thing. And we're gonna hold her, stay. And now we're gonna come back and make her hold it. So we don't get angry. We do have to provide a consequence. And as she holds it for a minute, I'm going to come back and provide a little bit of praise. Good girl. So, you would think I might tell her to SIT now. I'm not, because she's wanted to SIT twice. I'm going to break and release her that way. Why? Because think about it. If she was wanting to pop up twice, and then I tell her to sit, she said, well, hey, stupid. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to read your mind, okay? She wasn't trying to read her mind. She was just nervous and wanted to get up and wanted to make sure she's trying to do the right thing. Again, consequence is important, but we cannot over-consequence. I've gone over and will go over with you the proper steps 
to bite. You're never going to have to bite this girl hard. Most dogs, even uh, Annabelle, you're not going to have to bite hard. It's not about that. It's about consistency and teaching and 20 times more praise than consequence and letting them understand what you expect. So we had the DOWN from the side and from in front. Okay, that's the hand signal. The SIT, the break. Okay, let's go. So now we're going to do the place command. Okay, baby, place. She gets on the bed. Lay down, sit down. She smells Annabelle. We just did the Annabelle video just a couple of minutes ago. And now we're going to let her chill. If she stopped, if now if she decided to sit, we would tell her good girl or say nothing. If she decided to stand up, we could tell her good girl or nothing. Her rule now is to stay on that bed and not chew it up. But we could give her a toy or a bone to chew on if we wanted to. Hope that makes sense. She'll stay there for an hour or two, okay? No big deal. She'll do the down stay where we can walk back and forth. The down stay, I'm going to go back a second. The reason we do the down and the down stay is to teach our dog we're the leader. Because in most instances, instances, that's where a dog is most submissive when they listen to us. Okay? In her case, being a little nervous, she didn't want, she wants to submit, she doesn't, she's not quite sure. We just have to be solid and reaffirm. We don't get mad, okay? Uh, we don't hold a grudge. We just remember what happened the last time we worked it, because if it happened once, it's going to happen over and over again. Good girl. Great. Atta girl. Please go back and listen to my tone and watch what I'm doing here, okay? So sit. Good. So now we're going to do the heel. The heel command is we've got the box beside us. It's her job to stay in the box. It's our job to keep her in the box, okay? Heel. We're here. We're walking. We stop. She sits. She has to hold it. What a good girl. Good girl. Let's go. Sit. Now, I could have gone right back into a heel if I wanted to. Heel. We're here. I step off. See how she's coming back into the box? I hit for her. I turn around. I turn around. And I come back out. She stops and she sits. Good girl. Great. So, when I was turning around there, I'll never, I don't, I don't stop in a turn like that, at least at this stage. Why? Because when we're turning, she is having to try to commit to stay in the box. I normally wait till I get out of the turn and step a couple of steps and then stop and she'll sit automatically then. Great. Let's go. So the other thing is to load up, it's great to load up in the car. I still use my finger just like I did with the place command. That was the hand signal for place. Load up. Atta girl. Good girl. You did good. Break. So, the come command is really important. The come command, we want her to come and sit in front of us and hold that command, okay? Off leash, we want that come to use as well. But in an off-leash situation, we don't tell her to come unless she's committed to come. If we've got a dog that's not crazy about a treat, and I believe with you, after a little while she will, because she likes treats sometimes and sometimes she doesn't, that we, you see, she wants to do the right thing if you're watching her. Uh, we want to have her off and go, Donnie, hey baby, what you doing? Come. And then when she commits to come, we pet her and love her, okay? All right, remember, we release her or we don't. But right now, I didn't release her, so she's still in that sit after the come. Great. Good girl. And now I let her go. So she's not paying attention. Come. So on leash, a little bit more. Just come. On leash, I could tell her to come and get her used. Great. Get her used to coming to me when she's not expecting it. And on leash, I can tap that leash to me. But off leash, we get her name right now the next two or three hundred times. We get her attention, make sure she commits to us, and then we tell her to come. Sit. Good girl. That's such a good girl. Good girl. Now, German Shorehead Pointers, I like the little bitey collar. I like the bitey collar because it teaches dogs a bite. Dogs are natural bites. If you see two dogs that like each other, what are they doing? They're running, jumping, biting. 
each other. They're being very physical in a playful manner. Well, and when they get on each other, they're biting and posturing and being physical. I like this collar, but on pits, German short-haired pointers, a Doberman, I like to put the safety tips, their little black-coated safety tips, on the collar. Because we want to make sure that we don't scratch their skin by repeatedly practicing. And what do I mean by that is, is when you're first learning how to do something, just like with me when I started, now it wouldn't be so much of a problem, we're constantly having to tap the leash. And when we do that, we're uh, scuffing it up. It's not uh, cutting the dog or anything like that. It's just the friction of what we're doing. Just wanted to throw that out there. So we're going to do the COME, hand signals like this, okay? She comes, come on. Good girl. Good girl. She holds it. Release. Right. So we could release her. We could go into sit or down or whatever we wanted to do at the tail end of that. Good. Notice where my hands are as well. If I've got a treat for you guys who are using treats or a toy, off leash or on leash, I'm going to give my hand signal here, and this is where I'm going to give the toy or the praise and the treat. This is where everything's going to originate from. Okay, good girl. Damn. Decided I wanted to tell her to damn. Come. Okay. come. Good. So you see, she has a hard time coming all the way up, but that's okay. I'll take where she does it. I'm happy with it. That's just, again, the nature of her personality and temperament. Right. All right, uh, that's pretty much her story. She's a great girl. She's going to be a great family dog. She already is a great family dog. You just need to consistently work with her. Uh, don't say anything unless you mean it and you're prepared to act on it. If she does something once, she's going to do it over and over again. If it's something you like, put a new command to it. It becomes a trick or a command. If it's something you don't like, you've got to get in front of it and be ready to provide a consequence. She's always going to be fearful. I really don't think that's ever going to go, especially when she gets around maybe other people or things along those lines. But I think even at home, she's going to demonstrate this uh, some when she feels a little bit nervous. Don't let that hang you up. You be positive and work through it because it's going to make her stronger in the end. 336-945-3232. Feel free to call me if you ever have any questions. If you ever want to work with us, there's never a charge. All we do is ask you to come to us. I'm actually glad that she did the pop-up on the DOWN because that should tell you right now that is something that uh, if she kept doing it, we keep working it. So, break. One last little time. She had done it. We're going to come back. Down. Stay. Good girl. And now I'm going to be watching for her to pop up. If she doesn't, I'm going to praise her. But remember, stay command is relaxed. She could roll over. She could go to sleep. She just can't pick up a rock or, or uh, do anything we don't want. And we have to be consistent with what we don't want. Good girl. So now she's holding it. Right. Ah, a girl. I want to release her. I don't want to keep her in that down state till she tries to sit up. I want to release her while... The command is working. We always want to build on success. Alright, JimHodgesDogTraining.com is my website. I hope to have more videos. We're redesigning it right now. I hope there'll be more things to help more of you out there. That's one of my goals as we move into fall is to start to try to do more of that. More articles, more things along those lines. I'm on Facebook. Uh, just go to Facebook.com, type in Jim Hodges Dog Training. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much and God bless. Right.